Ladies and gentlemen, if former President Trump gets back to the Oval Office in 24, he will, ha he will have an attorney general that isn't Jeff Sessions or Bill Barr. If he can make peace with the Arizona and Republican uh, political, state political parties and some other things go his way, he can definitely regain the Oval Office. There's a number of issues that he has to address. The state political parties are a big, big concern for Trump. Okay, they have to rally around President Trump and not just simply uh, undermine Trump Republicans. So there are certain states with Republican parties that do not want Trump Republicans, even if it means a Democrat in the Senate or the House. That's unfortunate for a number of reasons. However, if he can, you know, give some type of olive branch or create a detente or some kind of communication or peace deal with these state Republican parties in Arizona or Georgia, perhaps some other states also, I don't think he can be stopped. We know that Democrats want to force out Biden. That's pretty obvious. They want him to resign. That's obvious. Yet there's a special counsel. Garland created a special counsel, not because the Democratic Party suddenly became apolitical. These are the same people who accused Trump of working for another country, being an operative in another country based on a dossier that Clinton purchased, railroaded Bernie Sanders, then blamed that other country, and then... Um, suppressed and made sure the New York Post's accurate reporting on Twitter wouldn't be seen by the public, in addition to everything else they do, a billion dollars possibly from FTX money. So they didn't just suddenly decide to be apolitical. They rally around and circle the wagons uh, around Fetterman or Biden when it's politically expedient, and they don't care about candidate quality. They'll vote for a house cat or a fern. If it's a Democrat, vote blue no matter who. It doesn't matter if you're the edgiest communist or socialist with different color hair. You will vote blue just like um, Nancy Pelosi, just like the a 60, 70-year-old lifelong liberal Democrat. It really doesn't matter. But here, New York Post, Biden already admitted guilt. He's just betting Garland doesn't prosecute him or Trump. Andrew C. McCarthy, New York Post. In terms, of this, in terms of the Senate classified documents, the classified documents from his time as Senate, that New York Post article talks about classified documents in general and how Biden is guilty in terms of criminal statutes. Trump, the, the article talks about obstruction of justice, but that's another issue because they're always accusing Trump of obstruction. That's because they're leveling investigations at Trump and then saying, well, you obstructed justice. But if you look... At 24, ladies and gentlemen, in 2024, you're going to have, in 2024, a Republican House of Representatives, okay? So it's generally always four years for the party that takes over the House. You'll have a Republican House of Representatives. They will have already engaged in impeachment, or uh, decided, uh, you know, went through imp impeachment, impeached Biden, and he, he they, they'll replace him with Hillary Clinton, I believe, or someone else. I believe Hillary. But anyway, if Trump wins, his attorney general will indict Biden for numerous crimes, graft, potential bribery schemes, 150 very shady financial transactions that were deemed uh, problematic by financial institutions. Obvious pay-to-play schemes. Okay, so there's a lot of criminal activity that you could go after Hunter and uh, Joe for. In addition to Senate classified documents that you couldn't declassify as senator that are just floating around since the 70s, from late 70s to early 2000, from two, late 70s to 2009, the post-indictment, post-presidency indictment is what media and Democrats and, and the political and, and American politics have been obsessed over with Trump. They want him indicted. He's out of the presidency. Well, what happens when Joe Biden leaves the presidency? What do you think is going to happen? And then, and then Trump becomes president again. And they'll, they, could probably, they could possibly, let's say it's DeSantis a couple of years later. 
So I don't know what the statute of limitations would be, but the the Santas could po- possibly also go after and indict Biden. Hit subscribe to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. Every day, 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific time. Thank you so very much for tuning in in the mornings. Become a member to my super chat. Thank you. Uh, super thanks. I will have a live stream actually at around 3 or 4 p.m. Pacific today. So be here for the live stream. I definitely will. So so be here for the live stream. And um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your support, your kind words. Go to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now. And also go to hagoodman.com to read my writing on The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, and other publications. Trump wants retribution. He's thinking about that more than you are, more than anyone else is. Okay? They did him wrong. They set him up and framed him. They accused him of everything under the sun. They never indicted him. This is how you know, and and I'm going to say, this is how you know they're lying. But like I said, Democrat, Republican, it really doesn't matter uh, communist, socialist, libertarian, Trump supporter, Trump voter like myself. You know what? It doesn't matter. I support President Trump. I want record low unemployment like we had in 2019. I want the Doha agreement and other negotiations like we had with Trump. Biden didn't, Biden barely, he didn't even want to bring home Americans. That's why he uh, waited until the summer when it was a May 1st, 2021 withdrawal. And the only reason he did that is Trump forced his hand. And those 13 Americans, those over 100 Afghans should be alive today. But like I said, no matter who you are, God bless you. Any, any political leaning, have a beautiful, amazing week and a safe and, and wonderful Monday. And you know what? Just be happy and I wish you only the best for this year. That being said, I come with a distinct viewpoint. And I want everybody to know that they're lying. They've been lying about Trump. For a long time. A long time. That's all they did is lie about Trump. And they accused him of things that were not criminal acts. The reason they didn't go even go after obstruction with Mar-a-Lago is because he's a former president and he stated, I declassified everything. They have to prove that he didn't declassify everything. So... But with senator, with a senator and with Hunter's laptop, where you have emails where, where people are being asked, how can you use your influence on the company's behalf? Democrats, see, the Bidens aren't the Clintons. The Clintons can get away with pretty much anything. And I think Hillary will be 20, uh, 24 no, uh, nominee for the Democrats. The private servers s- siphoning classified and data and top secret intel, it's not even possible from a cybersecurity perspective. You have all these like lifelong cybersecurity and intel analysts on Twitter who are liberal Democrats. Why don't they explain how Hillary and uh, Jake Sullivan and others um, siphoned classified data outside top secret SAP intel outside the Pentagon and intel agencies onto those servers, secret private servers. It's not even possible from a cybersecurity perspective, but President Obama's administration looked the other way. They made a mockery of classified data. So, of course, they're not going to indict Trump. He's a former president. He didn't even, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation knew where they were in the National Archives, has no power at all. They'll just find any government agency to be upset with Trump. They despise him. With Biden, they've loved him up until recently because they know his political expediency is no longer there. So Democrats say, okay, we're going to go into 24 with mashed potato brains and Hunter and the laptop and this and that and this and that. I mean, President Obama is not even the biggest fan of Biden, even though he was his vice president for eight years, okay? Everyone knows who Joe Biden is, okay? Everyone knows who this man is. Nice person, uh, you know, used to be able to be, you know, quite eloquent, and but now he's, unfortunately, um, well, let's just put it this way. There's so much criminality there, it's unbelievable, and for anyone who says, well, we can't prove anything. Well, you couldn't prove anything with Trump. It was only innuendo. And it was only speculation and hyperbole. That's why after seven years of him being the embodiment of criminality, they found absolutely nothing. If you just had, if, if you just treated Biden the way you would treat a senator, okay, he would have been already prosecuted for Hunter's laptop and um, 
and the classified documents he couldn't declassify as senator. But if Trump regains the Oval Office, it's it's hundred percent that they'll go. He'll go after uh, Biden the way Biden's administration have, has gone after him, and um, the way Democrats have gone after him in the House. There's a reason that you have Schiff and Warnock and all these people turning on Biden and Tim Kaine. They're turning and Pelosi. They're turning on Biden because they've had enough of him. And they also know that post presidency. He'll be either Trump or DeSantis. The next Republican will have an attorney general that will go after the Bidens. That's that's those aren't my words. Those are the words of Jim Jordan, James Comer, and others. Um, maybe not verbatim, but they're but they're gonna they're saying treat Biden the same way Trump was treated. Give me your thoughts below. Be here at eleven. This is huge, ladies and gentlemen. You know, if for the people who have lasted. 11 minutes. This is the biggest story in the past couple of years by far. And they're going to find more classified data. They're going to go uh, investigate Hunter's properties. They're going to probably put the laptop as part of all of this. And so it's going to be huge. Give me your thoughts below. I mean, because this is like a designed situation. This is a situation. This is a political catastrophe by design because democrats essentially want this to happen be careful what you wish for because this is only helping trump but they think that if they can replace the current president have him ride into the sunset um with vice president harris and then with hillary there's just no way that and who who knows they'll probably go after hillary clinton and, the, and bill with with uh trump would probably do so with his attorney general. So the, the Clintons have every incentive to have Hillary run again because Trump gets back into the Oval Office. It's it's complete political retribution for everyone who wronged him. And they did wrong him. They despise him. They found nothing. Give me your thoughts below. And they found nothing for a reason. See, had they treated Trump like a normal president, everything would be fine. We wouldn't have this 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 country where politics has become a religion. It's become a cult for especially Democrats. They say that about Trump supporters, but it's like, if Trump suddenly had Liz Cheney's foreign policy, I wouldn't vote for Trump. See, that's the difference. You could have Liz Cheney become a Democrat, they'd vote for Liz Cheney. It's the D next to the name. That's, it's vote blue no matter who. The average Trump supporter, the average Trump voter is not like that. Give me your thoughts below, hit subscribe right now. Be here at 11 a.m., everybody.